Hello everybody, my name is Ilya. And I'm Tyler. Together we are... Cobre. Today we wanted to do something a little special. We wanted to take a look at our five favorite photographs from this year. Photographs, you say? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, we actually do quite a lot of reviews on our website and we take a lot of photographs for them. And just to note too, that Tyler is definitely more of the photographer of Cobre. <laughs> But it's been really nice because he's been teaching me quite a lot too, and this is definitely a process we do together. Mm -hmm. um, often, we at the table over there, I lay out and set up things and try to do something creative and kind of pass it to him, and he'll take pictures of it and adjust it. I definitely narrowed it down to a, a very like in line process. Yeah, I've been a really big fan of uh, photography as a hobby, uh, mostly landscape photography, and uh, lately, with this board game passion, I've turned it into a product photography uh, type hobby as well, which really helps with our reviews, gives a little flair that we're looking for. We really like taking pictures because it's so, there's so much magic and beauty in games that you just don't see every day. So it's really nice to actually take a closer look at the game, take a look at the art, and try to understand the whole process of the digital design behind it. So it's been really, it's been quite an awesome experience this year interesting too to like picture all of these you no know, pun intended images that we could create for games but really challenge ourselves with say only using certain components of the game or specifically only using things that would come in the game box or things along those lines where we really get to like push our creative boundaries so it's been a lot of it's been a lot of fun yeah, we get to do something different every time. <laughs> and we get to learn something different every time, which is yeah. something that we absolutely love. So let's dive right in. These are five pictures that we've chosen from this year. We're fairly new. We've only started doing this since about September. So next year our list will be much more, I guess maybe- Difficult to pick from. <laughs> That's true. Because <laughs> we're doing a top five this year. We still had a, a hard time picking. That's true. But I mean, <laughs> it wasn't as hard as 12 months of photos kind of thing. It was actually really nice to take a look at all the pictures that we've taken and even seeing the progress from when we started to now, I'm really excited to see kind of this transform over the years to come. Yeah, I think the reason why I'm excited to do this is it's a reflective period for us. So we get to look back and even like when we were trying to decide the top five, uh, the pictures we took at the very beginning, there were some where I was like, mm. <laughs> Okay, so let's dive in. Here we go. Here's our top five photographs of 2020 that we took. Woohoo! So let's start off with... This, this one. This counts photo. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a photo that we took of Viscounts of the West Kingdom. This game has been one of the games that we've been waiting for all year. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's got like two, uh, I, I guess, sister games is what I would call them. Um, but it's like a trilogy. Yeah, yeah, it's like a trilogy. Yeah. So Architects and Paladins. And Paladins is by far one of my favorite games that we have right now. Um, so Viscounts had a lot to live up to. I also love games that come with so many different components, so many cards, so many characters. It's so much easier to photograph and be creative around rather than mm -hmm. a game with just a few pieces. But having said that, it's really fun to do both because you really do get to challenge yourself if the game is only cards. Yeah. But we really like this one. Um, so you, as you can see, it's a first player icon that we have featured here. Um, Tyler took this one. Do you want to talk a little bit yeah, about yeah, yeah. it? Yeah, I kind of, um, I, I really like when there's a lot of components to the game because like Ilya said, it, it makes it a lot easier to like wrap your head around what possibilities there are and you can go in a lot of different directions but for this one I really wanted to highlight the Viscount so um, <laughs> easy come on good job so the first player token here is just it becomes the main focus um, and I really wanted to draw on all of the other pieces of the game as well so you'll notice like all the resources in the background and then um, the board uh, game case is actually in the back as well uh, it fills the space up because I'm not the biggest fan of white space. I'm, I'm really happy with how this one turned out. I really like the color schemes in this. We really, mm -hmm. he really used the kind of the grays and the orange and the blacks to kind of bring it together and it really makes that token pop. Yeah. It's really fun to really feature just a specific component. I'm sure you'll see that theme quite a lot in a lot of our photos. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so the next picture that we have is 
Mysterium Park. So this is another game we're really excited for. Mysterium's been one of those games that really brought us into the hobby. Mm -hmm. I remember first getting it and just being enthralled with the art, art and illustration in it. And it was such an easy game to introduce to other people. I know we showed it to your family last Christmas. Yeah. And we loved it. Yeah, and like my parents aren't super big board game fans. Like they'll play them on occasion. I'm pretty sure they only play them with us. But like when we can get them to hey, play they play a game, Farkle all oh, the time. Yeah. <laughs> farkle, Farkle. <laughs> but when we so when we can get them to play a game though, this is like True. it means we did a good job picking out a game, and uh, Mysterium was definitely one of them. And but this is kind of the standalone <laughs> sequel to it. It's, yes, uh, yeah. With Mysterium, it's a bit of a longer game. This is more of a condensed version, and it's more centered around that circus theme rather mm -hmm. than uh, haunted mansion kind of piece. Yeah, and it's got elements of what reminds you of code names, basically. It's, yeah, a little as bit. if you mm -hmm. took Mysterium and code names and just smashed them together um, for a quick like explanation. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the card that shows where the specific characters are. And yes. And yeah. the witness? The witness. Yeah, this one was actually one of my first photos that I, or one of the, not one of the first photos I took, but one of the first photos I took that was really like, um, I had We're taken- We're photographers. <laughs> 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 I had taken some time to look up a lot of different techniques around product photography. And one of these things, one of the things that uh, I found very frequently was this idea of diagonal um, placing. So you'll notice that like there are tokens in the front uh, to the right side and then the box is in the back to the left side when this card is actually just in the center um, and then you add a little bit of that blur focusing on the card but still not um, but still having those other elements in there really is uh, really adds to it, making making the piece pop a little bit more, and then also like no white space. Because <laughs> white space. <laughs> I like white space. Sometimes oh. it can sometimes it can be a really good thing. I'm I am very guilty of shoving things into pictures when they definitely shouldn't be there. I also really like that it's a picture that really invites you to discover more about the game. Mm -hmm. You have this card, it, it sits there you don't really know what it means, but I want to know what it means. This is one of the pictures that we would definitely show our friends to be like, hey, do you want to play Mysterium Park? Number three. Number three, Raiders of Scythia. <sighs> yeah. So this is one of my favorite pictures that we have. This is the picture that I usually say, hey, we do board game photography. Look at this one. <laughs> I really like this picture. Kind of along the same lines, we were really excited about Viscounts. This is another game that came out from Garfield Games that we were really thrilled to try out. The art in it is absolutely gorgeous. And again, so many components, so many ways to be creative. You'll also notice that, like, back to the point where I was talking about Mr. Ian Park, like, I've got pieces in the front and pieces in the back, and then we really just focus on those player tokens. And I diagonal uh, <laughs> exactly <laughs> create, create that diagonal space, so you have that nice little line. But see, it's not very busy. Your eyes are really drawn to the score trackers, and the rest of it, it kind of just invites you to the game. But you're really focused on those, and it's, it looks like a just a really beautiful picture. I really like it. Yes. Now I want to play Raiders of Scythia. <laughs> okay, let's go on to the next one, number four. Oh yeah. This one's actually um, kind of in left field, I would say, for the pictures that we take. We released a blog that was about communication. Mm -hmm. uh, so five I'll... communication skills, right? Yeah, it's the five communication skills you learn from board games. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this picture right here is wingspan, but we did a little twist up with it uh, and we're shaking hands. One of the most important, I think, elements of board games is the ability to communicate with the people that you chat with. There's a lot of relationship building that can happen. There's a lot of conflict management that can happen. But this picture kind of shows it all. At the end of the day, it's there's so many things you can learn. And I think this handshake is really one. It just, it just showcases that. It, makes, it gives you that feeling of like, hey, there's value in board games. Yeah, I think the really interesting thing about this picture is like, when we were thinking about what kind of blogs we were gonna do, a lot of them were like recommendation lists and reviews and things like this, but then this one was outside of our comfort zone a little bit. Mm -hmm. And it was also a different way to get creative. 
So with a lot of the board game reviews, for example, or the lists, it's easy to, or it's not easy, but what we were doing is we were just pulling out the game and taking pictures of the components. Mm -hmm. And really that's what we were trying to highlight. We were trying to invite people in to play the game and we were trying to just capture everything possible that we could from the board game. But this one, almost like a stock photo, mm -hmm. is like, it gave us another opportunity to say, hey, like, yes, we have all of these games, but how does communication and board games tie together and how do we capture that in a picture? There's more to games than games. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I think this one was really cool because I was like, hey, um, this sounds like we're gonna take stock photos, so what kind of stock photos can I think of that would be like that? And then immediately my head was like, okay, how can we involve our hands? How can we involve like, um, like, talking to each other or things along those lines mm -hmm. and as soon as I thought about or as soon as that happened I was like handshake has to be a handshake <laughs> and voila I, I'm really happy with how this one turned out I think it was cool picture uh, yeah I think it was uh, it's it's definitely different from all the other ones that we have mm -hmm. yeah okay and now let's do the last one last and probably best <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this is a picture that I actually took and it's New York Zoo. <laughs> um, so I think Ty was feeling a little bit sick this day. I'm, I'm pretty sure I was laying in bed like the whole day, so. Yeah. <laughs> so it was my responsibility to portray this game. Usually it's a team effort. So it was kind of an opportunity for me to take everything I learned from this smart human and really employ it to the game. This picture took me forever. Um, I swear, there's probably 200, 200, 200 failed attempts at this picture. Of just this photo. Just, just this, this photo. photo. Different angles, different yeah. like, different like blurriness or however you like, bunker, I, I guess. I was really called. trying to capture, so there's a lot of animals in this game. It's a lot, it's a lot about kind of that community feel. Uh, and I really wanted to capture kind of those two elements is community and animals. So, I wanted to show kind of as much from the game as possible for all the little animeeples in here. And yeah, the angles, the lighting, it took forever. But when this picture happened, I was like, this is it. It's great, it's barely edited and I love it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you came into the room and you're like, Tyler, 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 you have to look at this. Look at this picture. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got it, I think I got it. So. But it was uh, it, like it was a good moment for both of us, I think, because I was I mean, although I wasn't feeling too well, I like Ilya came into the room and I'm like, hey, he's like, he's I'm catching learning, on. and that made me feel good because like I do I do try to take my, um, well I do try to take time to like teach Ilya everything about what I know, which, like, again, I'm not a professional. I don't know everything. I'm definitely learning as we go, um, but like. It's been fun to try and teach him and watch him like grow with the photos as well. So it's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it. That's our five pictures that we have for you here today. Yeah. Um, if this is something that you've liked, if you want us to talk about photography more, please let us know in the comments down below. Um, this year is all about discovery. We started this channel in about October of 2020. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot for us to learn. There's a lot for us to take a stab at. So if you really like these types of videos, do let us know below. We'll do similar pieces to this. We'd love to feature and talk about some of the photography things. So let us know below which of the five photos you, is your favorite. And why. And why. Why is important. Yeah. <laughs> Give us that thumbs up. Subscribe. Uh, you can click the little bell icon to let, it, to let you know when we post videos so you can watch some as soon as possible. <laughs> and if you're more interested in the photos, you can check out our Instagram because we post daily on there. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of the times it's, it's the board game. And our so. website as well. We do a lot of reviews and you can find a lot of the pictures that we take on there. We also have a product photography page that we keep, try to keep, try up, to keep up to up date to as date. much as possible. Yeah. But it has some of the favorite pictures that we've taken. So let us know what you think. Hashtag social media plug. Anyways. Uh, that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye! Bye. Little change in pace for us here today. Um, we're, uh, 
taking a step back from the board games and talking about something else today. Yeah, you may have seen